From the WJBD Newsroom, I'm John Matson. Right now it's time for a look at some news headlines. An employee of the First Community Bank of the Heartland in Woodlawn apparently foiled a robbery early Thursday afternoon. Jefferson County Sheriff Roger Maltz says the suspect entered the facility and produced a note to the teller instructing the teller to place whatever money they had into a zippered bag. After the suspect told the teller he had a gun, the teller reportedly responded that they would not be able to do that and that a supervisor would have to be notified. The teller then reportedly turned to notify the supervisor. At that time, the suspect turned and left the bank. Deputies are still searching for the suspect. A 32-year-old Centralia man has become the latest to be sentenced in U.S. District Court on federal drug charges stemming from the large drug roundup in Centralia last October. Hector Barnes received 14 years and two months on two counts of delivery of heroin. The charges stem from drug deliveries that occurred last June. The arrest was the result of a cooperative effort of federal, state, and local officials through the Project Safe Neighborhood Program. The May 3rd trial date for accused murderer Neil Baral of Centralia is off. Judge Michael Kiley Wednesday continued the trial as well as a hearing on the motion to suppress Baral's statement to police. Public defender Timothy Hewitt asked for the delay because a psychiatric evaluation to determine if Baral could knowingly waive his Miranda right could not be completed until late April or early May. A telephone conference call to reschedule the motion hearing was set for May 5th. Baral is accused of the October 2007 murder and aggravated criminal sexual assault of Centralia grade school teacher Michelle Cavalletto as she jogged near her home on the Copple Road southeast of Centralia. State Senator John O. Jones is inviting all veterans from the 54th Senate District to the third annual Veterans Legislative Day in Springfield on April 29th. Veterans and their guests are invited to take part in meetings, briefings, and a reception to honor the contributions of Illinois veterans. The event will begin with check-in from 8 to 9.30 at the Howlett Building on the Illinois Capitol Complex in Springfield, with opening remarks to start at 11. The day will conclude with a free lunch and special reception. Interested veterans are asked to RSVP by April 23rd and can do so online at vets.senategop.net or by calling 217-7207-97. The Illinois Emergency Management Agency is highlighting earthquake preparedness this April, the second anniversary of a 5.4 magnitude earthquake that shook the state on April 18, 2008 with an epicenter in southeastern Illinois. Agency Director Andrew Velasquez says Illinoisans can't be complacent about earthquakes. He says while the greatest risk is in the southern part of the state, all Illinoisans should, quote, be aware and learn how to stay safe. There are two seismic zones in southern Illinois, the New Madrid and the Wabash Valley zones. Velasquez suggests making a disaster preparedness kit containing water, non-perishable food, flashlights and batteries, along with other supplies. For WJBD, I'm John Matson. WJBDRadio.com